Welcome back to Your Blocked. Your Blocked with Edie Miniman and Simona Catalano. Obviously, first and foremost, let's get things out of the way. I am not with Eden. You're probably all like, where the fuck is she? And like, it's been really hard. Everything is like opening back up. We have different schedules, so we're not together. But do not worry. We understand that this is like a two for one, a package deal. We are better together. It's always better when we're together. And I take no offense. I take no offense because just like you, I'd rather us be together. But we're working through it and we're gonna be together this week and we're gonna record a lot of fucking content and it's gonna be fucking great. I also feel like this is probably the outfit I should have worn for like the nudes. Could have been so cute. Glad I'm a week late. Let's get right into it. I'm gonna talk about some shit today about being single, about what I see, why I have like PTSD from relationships even though I'm not in a relationship. So dudes out there, like you really have me fucked up. I mean, what I have seen is just like so traumatic. I'm just like, what the fuck are you doing? Like actually, I've seen some shady shit. Like I've seen guys with whole fucking girlfriends, like whole fucking girlfriends, like be trying to get at me so hard. And I'm like, do you think I'm stupid? Like, do you think I'm stupid? Your girlfriend's IG page is open. Like she's not private. It's also not that hard to figure it out. And I'll get into that. Like if you're speculating, like maybe he could, maybe he does, I don't know. Like I've taken, you know, the liberty of figuring it the fuck out because A, I'm not a dumbass. B, I'm not like a side piece. And like C, yo, like just leave your girl if that's what you want to do. Like what the fuck? Guys in your DMs. Like I've had... I've had guys like numerous times in my DMs, like, you know, they see you, maybe you met them out or like you met them, however the case may be, like just casually, randomly, like I once met this guy while I was shopping. He seemed like cool, whatever, like gave him my IG handle. Cause like, I don't do the phone number thing. Like that's just too personal for me. But like, I used to give out my IG. So I remember I did that. And I was like, okay, just like entertaining it for like one, two thing. But then I like saw on his stories once he like posted a girl that he was like at dinner with. So I was like, let me just see who this girl is. Like just out of curiosity, like sheer curiosity. Cause I already had an inclination. Like, here's the thing. If you're like really in tune with your gut and your intuition, you already be knowing shit. Like you already know. It's just like, you need that confirmation. Do you know what I mean? So I like go to her page wherever, obviously she's open because everybody's open these days, <laughs> like pun intended. It's like there's pics of them, like love you, hearts, hearts. I'm like, okay, he has a girlfriend. Like, like I'm not even going to entertain a conversation with him just generally because he already wasn't speaking to me like it was like general, like he was just like, you know, it was like more than that. It's always like a little bit more. And I'm like, yo, like you have a full on girlfriend. Like, so you're, you still have a girlfriend, still have a girlfriend buying her like all this designer shit, sending her roses, like delivering her fucking packages, taking her out to eat on posting on your stories. Like I don't really watch people's stories, but like sometimes if it like comes up, I'm just like, oh, whatever you see it like by accident. Um, and like every time I check, I'm like, st you still have a girlfriend yet you're still sliding through my DMs and like saying shit, like saying offside shit you should not be saying if you have a girlfriend. Like don't be in my DMs being like, yo, you look so good. Like I could not say anything. Like, you know, I like, can't wait to see you or like I want us to hang out or like you should come over. Like if, oh my God, if my boyfriend ever, ever like, are you guys neurotic? Like, are you all taking some next shit? Like, what the fuck? It's just wild. And like, you think you're so slick, like in the DMs, like in my DMs, like, and here's the thing. Are we, are we need to know, are we messaging the girls? Like, are we like showing them the read receipts? Like, are we letting our girls know what's up? Because for me, I'm like, 
that's not my place. I don't care. Whatever happens in the darkness is going to come to light. Like you will be exposed, motherfucker. Like you will be exposed. You're not slick because like genuinely I, w I would want to know. Like I would want a girl to be like, you know, like your man's in my DMs, like saying all this shit to me because for me, for me, um, if I'm like talking to a guy and I see, cause like Instagram, we've spoken about Instagram so much and like guys still use it. Like you're still out here doing all this shady shit and like Instagram just like exposes you. If I'm talking to a guy and like, I'm, you know, I see a girl on my page, whatever. And I'm like going through her shit and I see that like, he's liked her post. Like I'm turned the fuck off. Like it's kind of a red flag for me, honestly is. And don't come at me with that fucking shit that it's just your post. Like, so do you want me to be in your boys fucking likes? Like, do you want me to be all up in your boys likes? Cause I can guarantee you don't want me to be in their likes. So why would I want you in, in some like next bitches likes, like on a half naked post? Like really, really? Obviously you're not serious about me. Obviously you don't want to get married. And honestly, that's my vibe. So goodbye, sir. I've also had guys like literally come into my work, like, like, and everybody knows also because like they make it so apparent like when they come in for you and like obviously pre-covid um get, like if you're like a guy and, like it's just you having dinner like usually you're chilling at the bar like bartender the bar. at a seat at the table for two right so there was like two guys in particular and like every time they came in everybody was like oh my god like your regulars are here like they're here for you like whatever like spend hours like talking you up talking whatever the case may be a lot of these conversations like extended like not into a professional environment like it wasn't like next level like like weird shit at work but it was just like you could tell when like a guy is like trying to like flirt with you hit you up trying to get your number trying to like you know both with the, like the same kind of motive here like their goal was like to like take me out and then both of them both of them um come in with like dates one night and so i'm like okay like aside from the fact that again like yes the chemistry was like good with both of them so i was like kind of caught off guard but i was like also like whatever like I don't know what you're trying to do here like what your game plan is like that's just awkward because after both dates both came in the next week like everything was chill like everything was fine one of them was a tinder date like we know that for a fact because like weird vibes and the other one like it was a full-on girlfriend like his girlfriend so he he took her to the place where like i work he was tr been trying to get at me and then still continue to come back and like still tried to like get at me and like play like he didn't have a girlfriend. I'm like, are you neurotic? Like, are you normal? Is there something wrong with you? What's going on? What What is your thought process here? Fucking weird. Next, we go to the guys that you meet on vacation, okay? This fucking happens. This fucking happens. Not that it's like, not that like, again, I don't take any of these like things to heart. I'm like not... <laughs> crying whatever I'm just like I think it's funny but also kind of like sad and like a little bit traumatic like a little bit that's why to my girls you need to be picky and like if you're in a relationship and you know you just you need to make sure that he is who you think he is do you know what I mean like make sure that you're not like having any doubts that you're not wondering because there's some shady motherfuckers out here okay the guys that you meet on vacation vacation's a fun time you know everybody's hanging out you're meeting new people everybody's from like a different place it's like woo having so much fun you know obviously you give out some numbers because while you're on vacation you want to meet up with people you want to go out i'm the type of person like i'm a good vibes so, like if i think you're a good vibe i'm gonna give you my number doesn't mean that like I literally want anything from you. I just feel like you're good vibes. So why not? We never ended up like going out or meeting up. So then I remember when I got home, he like texted me, you know, hey, what's up? Like you were such a good time, whatever, whatever. I took my Instagram handle. Obviously you creep, like obviously you creep. Let me just see like what this guy's about. Like, let me just see his pics, scroll through. Literally two days before that weekend that every we were all on vacation, two days it was his girlfriend's birthday so you mean to tell me you mean to tell me 
that you celebrated your girl's birthday two days before going to this location, like going on a trip and flirting with mad girls, giving mad girls your number, like you very well could have broken up. Like, yeah. Benefit of the doubt. Highly fucking doubt it. But it just doesn't add up. Like, that's really sketchy to me. So again, guards up. And like once, like once there is like a little ounce of like shady shit going on that I find out, I'm like, yo, like, even if I wasn't into you like that, I'm just out. Like, I don't want to be around that. Like, I don't even know what you stand for. We're confused. Next. So I was in Miami. You meet, obviously, like the guys like get you in, whatever, met a nugget. He was so sweet. You know, obviously I was in stuff from time to time. We like, you know, messaged. And then I happened to like be back in the area. And I was just like, yo, like I'm going to be around. Like if you want to like catch up and hang out, like let me know. Also, that's my vibe. Like I have no problems reaching out and messaging a guy. So like ladies, just a little tip for you. Do it. Fuck all that. If a guy wants you, he's going to pursue you. Like, yes, while that is true, like, why can't you also make the first move? But we could talk about that another time. He was very much like, yeah, 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 yeah. Then he, like, backed out and was like, yeah, like, I'm with the boys. Like, I can't really do it tonight. Like, another night. And then I was like, yeah, that's the only night that I'm there. So, like, bye. And I I, I don't know how this girl, I, I don't know if it was a story. I can't remember if it was a post a tag maybe he reposted her like on his story I don't know something to that effect anyways I just click the girl go to her page <laughs> and what Got do we <laughs> have <here? Got> he. <laughs> she's not private and she's got all of the fucking photos of them all of the fucking photos he's had like a three-year girlfriend I am like what and, and like, here's the thing. Here is the thing. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. While maybe some of you could be like, oh my God, he was like totally like not even like really flirting. He was just being nice. He just thought he was a friend. If my man thinks that he's ever going to DM a girl and talk every so often and tell her that when she's in town, she should just link him up and like they'll meet up and have a dinner. Are you fucking smoking crack? No, what the fuck? No, 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 no. There is a distinctive line between being friends and like literally trying to fuck someone. There's certain shit you just don't say to girls if you have a girlfriend. Like, I don't even want you, like I said, liking girls' posts. So why the fuck would I want you to be hanging out with some girl you don't even know? You can have girlfriends, obviously, but like as, as your actual girlfriend that you're fucking, I need to read the energy between that friendship, okay? And that's just how I roll. That is just my vibe, always my vibe. You can say that it's because of all this shit. Very well could be because guys are out here playing the fucking game. Just, I don't understand why, why some of these guys have girlfriends. I really don't. I have no idea why they're in relationships. And I mean, it's just, as a single girl, it makes me just like not want to be in a relationship. I'm like, yo, I don't, like, I don't even want to talk to you guys because guys in the talking stages, like, and it's obviously because they're not serious. It's like, yo, like it's not that serious. Like we only hang out like a few times, like uh, whatever. And I'm like, you know what? I'm just, I want something more serious. So like I'm over all of these guys just like having girlfriends, but not actually having girlfriends and like playing girls and all this stuff. And you know what? Did I just come to the conclusion that I want to message these girls? Did I? Did I? We don't know. Anyways, that's kind of like where my thoughts are like kind of ending on this topic i am just always mystified guard is always up read the energy always assess you can always find out i'm so down to friend zone all the guys and just call it a fucking day until i see my husband and that's that so thank you so much for you know bearing with us while we we get our shit together but we will be together next week. So, you know, very excited about that. It's gonna, we're gonna get back on track. The duo is gonna be together. Do not worry. I may, we're gonna make that shit happen because it's just it's what the people want. It's what they need. And we're gonna deliver. We're gonna fucking deliver. Follow, like, comment, subscribe, do all that great stuff. We love you. Thank you so much. 
stay blessed.